see, okay, I have to recognize here comes the jab. Then I have to, out of my Rolodex of responses, I have to go, okay, I'm going to parry this. Then I have to physically execute it. It's a lot of work when throw a good fast jab. Do not hit me in the head. Okay. That's a good solid jab. I'm going to make those choices all the time because it's diagnostic. So if I do this diagnostically, I might as well be doing the parry. If I'm trying to do this, I'm doing the same thing. Mechanically, maybe it's a little easier because I'm not reaching and I'm not exposing and I'm a little tighter. So maybe it's slightly superior. But it's still, I've got to recognize and then execute. Instead, the mindset is, I'm not trying to block his shots. I am protecting my head. And people go, well, duh, it's the same thing. No, it's not. Blocking the shot is me actively looking to do that. Protecting my head is I'm protecting my head. I don't care what he does. So this, this arm cycling, I'm doing it. If I'm in danger, whether he's throwing punches or not, I'm doing it. Okay? If I'm here and I'm like, okay, you know what? I feel in danger. I don't know that he's good enough to hit me from here, but I'm worried about it. So don't move. I might be out here and I'm like this. Start to do this, and I'm like, okay, okay. Whether he's punching or not, I'm gonna go right into that cycling action. And what's gonna happen is, he's gonna run into that move, I'm putting up a moving wall that he's gonna, I'm gonna let him smash his hands into. Pow, pow, pow. I'm not specifically gonna go here. I'm just gonna do it, and he runs into it. You see the difference? It's a, it's a, it's a mental shift. I'm not blocking shots, I'm just protecting my head. So I'm putting up a constant wall that I'm replacing all the time, all, as long as I'm in danger, okay? And I tell my guys, when you don't think you're in danger, do it anyway, <laughs> until you get good enough. Like my, my new guys, they better be cycling here. My guys who've been with me a little bit longer, I don't, I'm not as big, you know, it's not a big deal. But you'll watch, you watch the CM trainers. You know, if I go against a, a new guy who's just joined the program, he's not been doing it, yeah, I'm doing this. I go against Nate, I go against Phil Wright, I go against Jerry, I go, whoa! From maybe, from out here. Okay, so if there's any, if I think I'm in danger, that cycling action's happening. Okay, let him run into it. I'll tell you this quick story. Uh, years ago, one of Rodney's uh, assistant coaches at his gym had some issue with some bouncer at a local club. I think the guy used to date his ex-girlfriend or something. And every time the guy would go to the nightclub, the bouncer would hassle him, trying to start shit. And the guy, and Rodney's assistant just was like, I don't fucking fucking. And finally, the, the bouncer kind of confronted him in the um, in the parking lot, and was so aggressive and he started throwing punches. And Rodney's guy didn't want. To get into a fight, so he just started defending. The guy shattered both his hands. Rodney's guy won the fight without ever throwing a punch. Pow! And Rodney's like, okay. Never fuck with him again. So, but the action is it's tight, it's solid, it protects your head, just don't chase it. The other thing is that you don't want to do, and you'll see guys do this, is that chasing mentality of this. Then I let him come to me. I'm in my structure. I know this platform's solid. I know I'm protected here. So why should I reach out and touch him? Let him come to you. Let him drive in, bow, smash himself up. Everybody understand? It's a very important, that difference. It's not the technique. It's how we apply it. That's the, that's the important part. Okay? All right, so let's try it again. Same thing, let your partner open palm, light, easy shots, move around, and now, non-diagnostic. Don't worry about what's coming, protect your head.